Hi, I'm Dr. Nikki Kay. I'm a medical doctor and author of Hormones, Health and Human Potential. I want to say a little bit about hormonal contraception. The first thing to say that it's every woman's choice what form of contraception she chooses to use. When it comes to hormonal contraception, we can broadly divide this into two groups. There are those types that don't suppress ovulation and others that do suppress ovulation. These uh, suppressive hormonal contraceptions include the combined oral contraceptive pill, also known as the pill or birth control pill. The effect of these types of hormonal contraception are to totally suppress the production of internal hormones, female hormones. This might be really useful and helpful for some women with uh, medical uh, disturbances of their hormones, such as polycystic ovary syndrome or conditions like endometriosis, which are driven by the female hormones. So in these cases, suppressing internal production of hormones actually can be very helpful. However, there are definitely some women where it is not helpful to suppress their internal hormones. For example, in women who have lost their periods, amenorrhea, that means a lack of menstrual cycles for three or six months or more, uh, and the woman's not pregnant, um, this can, in some cases, be due to what's called FHA, functional hypothalamic amenorrhea, where there is a mismatch between um, energy intake and energy expenditure. Therefore, the internal hormones shut down to save energy. So in this situation, giving a medication which will reinforce the suppression of female hormone production is clearly not a good idea. And the pill does not regulate periods, therefore it stops periods. You might be wondering, well, if you take the pill, you do get a bleed which seems like a period, but please be aware that this is not a menstrual period due to the production of your own hormones. It is what technically is called a withdrawal bleed due to the synthetic artificial hormones in the hormonal contraceptive pill. So as I say, uh, this is a very effective form of contraception and may, might be useful uh, and helpful for some women with underlying hormone uh, uh, conditions. However, please be aware that if you have FHA, taking the contraceptive pill is not advised either by the Endocrine Society uh, and nor indeed by the IOC, International Olympic Committee, nor by the NICE guidelines, uh, National Institute of Clinical Excellence here in the UK, uh, because last year I wrote to NICE and um, uh, ask if the recommendations could be changed to align with current guidelines. So if you choose to take um, hormonal contraception, please um, take time to choose the one that is most appropriate for you. And please do not um, take hormonal contraception, specifically the pill, if you have FHA. If any hormone type of uh, medication is to be given uh, for a woman with FHA with concerns about her bone health. The best medication for bone protection is not the pill. Evidence shows that the best temporizing measure to protect bone health is actually HRT, hormone replacement therapy, which uh, is um, a combination of body identical hormones of estrogen and progesterone. That is why uh, this is bone protective. So I hope that uh, clarifies some confusions that there might be about uh, hormonal contraception, when it's a good idea and when it's uh, not a good idea.